Hello. How is everyone today? I am pretty well. A little tired. I feel like I say that every time, but it's the truth. It's one reason I look forward to actually um, not teaching for VIP Kid anymore. As much as it's an awesome job for me and my family, it does make me tired. Actually, I was just talking to my husband the other day about how it's kind of crazy that we have built into our world this these strict schedules of you get up at X time every day and for so many people it's so early and I told him I'm a different person on the weekend when I get to wake up naturally sometimes it's not even that much later it's an hour hour and a half sometimes later than I wake up during the week and sometimes I don't even get more sleep because I go to bed later on the weekends you know how like you're like oh I can sleep in tomorrow so I'll stay up later I do that and so I don't actually get more sleep but when we wake up naturally without an alarm waking us up in the middle of like a deep sleep we're just more refreshed it's better for us better for our bodies and are better for us biologically and so I just think it's interesting that for some reason we've gotten into this rigid idea of how things have to work and when you think about it, if people slept until they were rested and then did work, we would actually be more productive. So is it really about productivity or what is it about? You know, I realize people have all sorts of objections. Well, if, if we don't get to certain places on certain times and have things open and things will far, fall apart and this and that. And I honestly just don't really believe that. I think we're more creative and capable than we give ourselves credit for. I mean, if a store is not open, and you know, I mean, obviously hospitals, things like that, that's a different type thing, emergencies. But I'm talking about the vast majority of us. Wouldn't we be better off if we were all rested? Just some food for thought. Anyways, um, what I really wanna to talk to you about today, and I actually have no notes, I'm just going on the fly here out of my brain, is something that I posted about a little bit earlier, and that is, um, how important it is for each of us to really shine our light of who we are, what we believe, what questions we have, what thoughts we have, what feelings we're feeling. When you hide those things away, your beliefs, your feelings, your thoughts, your questions, you're not doing anyone a service. You're not doing yourself a service and you're certainly not doing our society at large a service. So the thing I said though is that what we need to be be prepared for is that when you share yourself, when you share your ideas, when you share that maybe you have a question or something that other people don't agree with, it doesn't mean you're going to change minds because changing minds is a difficult thing. There's all sorts of studies about this, about how we all have, um, we all have do or participate in what's called confirmation bias. So we look for information that confirms our beliefs. So everyone does this, everyone is biased, everyone clings to their beliefs, including myself. So it's not about changing minds. I feel it's about changing hearts and remembering that we're all connected, no matter what. I posted the other day that compassion isn't optional and I had some friends object and say it is optional and I know what they're saying. What they're saying is that not everyone chooses it. So of course it's optional. What I mean is that it's essential, that compassion is crucial, that it's transformative. And I guess what I would say is not optional is connection. We are all connected. We'd have no choice in that. So what we need to realize is that we have that connection between us and between others, and we are all connected. And so we may not change someone's mind but speaking up is really powerful because you plant a seed. And I really believe that so many people have been quiet for so long. That's part of the reason that we are where we are. And I include myself in that statement. Like I have been fairly open and people think I'm brave, but it takes time. So the more you can be open, the more you will help our society move through what we're going through. 
Um, so that is one of my big messages for today. I also just want you to know that how you say things matters too, which is why it's so important for us to get grounded, to become calm, and to feel loved and supported so that when we are open about who we are, we don't feel threatened. And the people that we are opening ourselves up to don't feel threatened as a reaction to how we're feeling. When we present things angrily or get in people's faces, that certainly doesn't change minds or hearts. So how we do things matters too. Finally, I want you to know that when you do this, um, people don't want to hear this, but whatever your biggest fears are, they may happen. Last year, I was frantically sharing because I wanted to change the course of how I saw things going. So I shared and shared and shared. I shared information, I shared scientists, I shared alternative sources of information, uh, so much just shared and shared, hoping, 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 praying that we could change course. And it didn't happen. And my biggest fears were one, that we would have to move because we had just bought a house in 2018 and we so desperately wanted to put down roots. Well, guess what? We moved and it didn't turn out to be the worst thing in the world. I was also very scared of losing people in my life, losing friends and family and loved ones. And honestly, that has happened also. So when you are open, your fears may come true, but I can tell you that it will be okay. And maybe even some beautiful, amazing things will come from you being open and true to yourself that you can't even imagine. So that's it for today. I'm keeping it short and sweet. Um, wherever you are watching this, if you're watching this on Facebook, if you're watching it on Instagram, if you're watching it, come on Yoshi, if you're watching it on YouTube, I would appreciate for you to like it, to like this video, to share it, to comment. Uh, I'm getting clearer and clearer on what my role is right now and how I can be of service to people. But I cannot be of service to people if people don't know I'm here. So one of my big challenges right now is trying to expand and, and, and get in touch with people and connect. So you can really help me do that by sharing, by liking, by commenting. If you want to go on my Rise Up with Susan May page and just find a post that resonated with you and just share that, that would be amazing. You don't have to share publicly. You can share in a private message, in an email. Maybe you tell someone verbally. I have created a guide for people that will clarify for them what I am trying to accomplish here. How can I help you? And the reason I really feel qualified to kind of help people is that I've done all these things. I've been very open in my life. I was having some great conversations, private conversations this week. And it's scary for most people to be vulnerable and open. And for whatever reason, that is one of my gifts. It's scary for me, but I've always been able to do that. And I have seen time and time again how being open and honest with people almost always brings good. Well, I would say it always brings good. Even when the things that I'm scared of happening, like losing a friend happens, in the end, the good outweighs. So that's a gift of mine. And I want to share with people how I'm able to do that. What are steps that I take? Um, and it's powerful. We need to be hopeful because the more that we are open and share, it's gonna happen faster. Um, I do think that we are still very much in the thick of things. And as much as I want things to speed up, we are kind of in for a long ride still. So if you become open, you will connect with people that can help you get through this hard time. So please share, like, comment on my pages. Um, go over to togetherwalking.com and check out that guide I made for you. It's $5. Um, if you buy it, it will support me, help me to keep doing what I'm doing because basically right now I'm working lots of hours for pennies, which I love. I'm happy to do it. <laughs> but I can expand more and help more people um, when you support me in that way. And 
think that's everything. I hope you're having a good week. Um, I'm going to rest because that's what I would tell you to do. Have a great week and I love hearing from all of you. So please, um, it lifts me up when I get messages from you. So I always love hearing from you. Sending you lots of love. Bye.